Hi there, in this Moodle video tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a book on um, in your Moodle course. This is a really great way for presenting um, a whole lot of sort of information, text and visual images. You need to first of all make sure that you have logged into your Moodle course, navigate your way to your course of choice and then make sure your editing is turned on. Then once you've done that you need to go down um, and find the section that you would like to put your court, um, your book in. So sorry, I have to make sure my editing is turned on. Go down to the section I would like to add my book. Go into resource, choose a book. The first thing you have to do is actually create the book and then you can start um, populating it. So I'm going to make a of mice and men study guide. My students. And I, just, um, I can leave my summary blank. And just go save and return to course. Then once you have created your book, you can go down there. There it is and open it up and by once you open it then you can start adding the content. Now you can have chapters and you can have sub chapters. So I'm going to create a first chapter on um, themes, motifs and symbols. Now what you can do here is you can simply paste your content in. So what I've got open is also a Word document. So I'm going to provide a series of definitions. There we go. I'm going to copy that and then I go back to my page. And you need to use Control V to paste. It doesn't like you using the normal paste mechanism. And go save changes. And now I'm going to create sub chapters. And you do that up over here. There's a red plus where you can add a new chapter underneath or you can add a sub chapter. So you click on the red plus sign. This time I'm going to create a sub chapter which I want to have sitting within that chapter and this is going to be um, about the themes in the novel. And again I go to my Word document, I copy the information that I want, right click, copy it, Go back to Moodle and remember you have to use Control plus V to paste in the content. There we go, there's that information, it's looking okay. I could of course go through and um, make that look pretty but I'll just leave it like that for the moment. Go Save Changes and because I've chosen a sub chapter you will see that that sits underneath that. So if I wanted to add another sub chapter I just click plus and that is automatically a subchapter. And this time I'm going to add some information about motifs. Go back to my Word document. Highlight the text that I would like to add. Right click. Copy it. Back to the book and paste it in using control V. Go down and save it. You are able um, to edit basically any of these pages of the book like you would a Word document. So if I wanted to go back and um, fix that up, I simply click on the hand to edit. And this editor works fairly similarly to a Word document. I could add images, I can um, add, if I wanted that to become a hyperlink to another website, I could highlight that word, click on there and add a hyperlink and so on and so forth. So um, basically the pages can be edited pretty much like a Word document and um, whenever you finish editing you just click Save Changes and this is what a page of your or a subchapter of your um, book looks like. 